Another day of high adventure in the PC realm. Welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. For today's adventure, raise that red and black flag high into the sky because you AMD fans, this is something you're going to want to check out. Now, like I said previously in other videos, we're now working with AMD. We're going to be doing a lot of build with those folks. And those builds involve a lot of killer parts. So the first we're going to be taking a look at right now is the people over at XFX. Now, I know this video card's been out for a little while, but this thing is a complete utter beast. This is the R9 295X2 video card. Now this thing's the Hydra Edition, has 8 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, features PowerTune 2.0, and it has two GPU processors on board, bringing you twice the power, hence the X2. Now one thing even more awesome about this thing is it comes with its own water cooler. That's right, you don't have to do anything. This thing comes liquid cooled out of the box. So for you enthusiasts out there who want to have your card cooled, this thing's pretty cool because I know a lot of people out there are already using these all-in-one water coolers for their CPU. Well now, if you want to use your GPU, you can just slap this in, you can share the space, man. With that said though, let's jump in and let's take a really closer look at the Hydra edition of the XFX R9 295X2. So for you folks out there who have never actually seen this before close up, check this out. Here's the box and it is a doozy. You guys can see it's humongous. Sticking this in a shelf space somewhere like Best Buy? Hmm, I don't know about that because it's huge. But here's the front of the box. I know you guys don't want to get too crazy about it. Here's the back of the box. Here is the nomenclature which shows the model number. We will have pricing and availability down below in the description. So now let's move forward though and let's actually take this and see what's inside the box. So right here we got a little flap on the side here. I'll go ahead and pop that. Pop the cap. The box goes down like this and the cap pops open and then inside of here we got all the stuff. So right off the bat we have the driver CD install guide. This is always something that's made me question why does somebody need to know how to install a driver off a CD? Like if you don't know how to do that you really should not be touching the computer. I'm sure you guys agree with that. I think that's kind of a Kind of a weird thing to include in the box. Then we've got more hardware limited warranty. So more warranty information here. Here's your warranty card. Make sure if you have this card, you send this in so you can get your full warranty. Then we've got the graphics driver CD. I'll use this probably just to initially set it up, but then I'll go and make sure I go over to the AMD website and install the very latest and most current driver because it'll probably be newer than this one. So I'll set that down. They have a little thing about their adapters and connectors, not really important to this whatsoever, just some stuff that you're getting from them. Now, we have screws and nuts here. These things are obviously going to be probably to take off the water cooler and change it or do stuff like that. Also got some additional cabling here. We have main display port to standard display port. We've got a DVI to HDMI. And then we start getting into the real deal, which is this giant size thing here, which is, uh, bear with me folks, I try to pull this out of the box. Because like I said, this whole thing is water cooled. So let's start out, let's pull the card out, kaboom. And uh, right here it says, stop, stop. Make sure you install and connect the card properly. Yes, we realize that. So check it out, water cooler, single fan, single rad, not bad, right? Looks like it's a nice 140. See the card right here? Beautiful looking card. Very clean looking. Has a red fan signifying once again the AMD. And like I said in the beginning of the video, the black and red flag. Because that's the total colors for these guys. Now on the side, we can see the Radeon nomenclature right here. Saying the card Radeon. There are two stickers up here on top. I'm not going to remove them right now. Well, I guess I can. Go ahead and we'll just pop these little stickers off. And these little stickers are where the power goes. Now, on this particular card, bear with me folks, so I try to do this. I'm sorry to look away from the camera like that. Don't mean to be rude. There are two full-blown eight pin power connectors for this bad boy. So you got 150 watts for each one of those. Now, as we translate over to the back of the card, you guys can see they have a full-blown protector on the back of it. You guys can see one GPU here, one GPU there. This is very cool. This makes sure the card won't get damaged at all. You can touch it. 
will make the card actually last longer. Want to worry about that electrostatic shock. On the bottom, we have the PCIe Express 3.0 interface. Common thing, all cards have them. It's got a little protective cover on here. Go ahead and just quickly remove that. And just go ahead and stick it back on there just to keep it protected. Kind of like safe sex. It's a video card condom. No, I'm just kidding. Now on the back, the card's pretty cool. Four main display ports and a single DVI port. Now this thing's gonna be able to pump out maximum iFinity stuff. So if you're somebody looking to run multiple monitors, you're looking to run 4K, well then damn it, this is a card you're gonna to wanna to be seriously looking at. Now obviously for AMD, this is their top of the line bad boy. And we're gonna be comparing it against a lot of other things, including Nvidia's Titan Z to show all the comparison difference between the two cards. Now, from what I'm hearing from most of my readers out there, they're saying that they would pretty much probably take this this card over the other card any day of the week due to the pricing. Now this particular card, because it's water cooled and is totally top of line, this card comes to market at about $1,400. It's a little bit pricey, but if you're looking at a Titan Z, you're looking at a card that's almost $4,000. So big savings are between this and that, less than half even. So that's pretty amazing stuff. We're going to be taking this card. We're gonna be putting actually two of these into the new X99 platform. Usually every build we do, we do a lot of them. We always use Nvidia cards. This time we're gonna do something a little bit different and we're gonna put a pair of these bad boys on the X99 platform and bring a system like that to the table as well. So I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech Tomorrow. Like I said before, all of this information will be down there in the description, pricing, availability, all that stuff. So if you're looking to buy one of these for yourself or just wanna check out more information, you guys can see that. So thanks for watching Tech Tomorrow. And last but not least, if you're not subbed and you like what you see, then hey, hit that sub button because we've always got exciting stuff going on for you guys, our fans. Love you. See you guys back here on Tech Tomorrow.